If Yannick Ngagwe really wants to play for the Eagles, he needs to do exactly what Terrell Owens did to the Baltimore Ravens in 2004. Yo, everybody, hey, dude, King Ding Bang here. So today we have come with the... What the hell is that? It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody, hey, dude. King Ding Bang here, so let me first start off by saying thank you to everybody who watched my last video. I thought it would be very interesting. I thought it would be very interesting to see how people would react and what people would think to the idea of possibly trading Dallas Goddard. Because I've talked a lot about trading Zach Ertz and seeing what you could get for him, but I wanted to see how people would feel about trading Dallas Goddard. Now, of course, of course, there's no way in hell I would trade Dallas Goddard. Ain't no way in hell. And for those who didn't watch the whole video, that's what I said basically at the end of the video. There's no way in hell I would do it. However, the, the problem at tight end remains the same. It remains the same. The Eagles are going to have to do something about the tight end situation within two years, okay? Ertz's contract's going to run out. Goddard's contract's going to run out. If you're paying Zach Ertz, top money for a tight end it's going to be very hard to pay dallas goddard big money at tight end too it's just it's just the way it goes now some people think you can do both i don't think so maybe i'm wrong we'll see down the line but either way in my opinion one of these two guys in two years is going to go it's just a matter of do you want to let them walk for nothing in two years or do you want to try to get something now no way in hell I'm trading Dallas Goddard. But I got to tell you, I was very happy to see that so many Eagle fans were against getting rid of Dallas Goddard. That was that was really good to see for me, in my opinion. So I'm very happy about that. Now, one guy who definitely seems like he wants to become a Philadelphia Eagle is Yannick Ngakwe. And he keeps feeding fuel to the fire when he posts pictures of Brian Dawkins, Reggie White, you know, guys like that. Sounds like he wants to come to Philly. And maybe... He just wants to come to Philly because it's not Jacksonville, right? Maybe he just, you know, he'll go anywhere. Maybe it's just a matter of who will trade for him and where he could sign. And maybe that's the case. Who knows? But if he really has his heart set on playing in Philly, playing with the Eagles, then I think he needs to go back and look at what Terrell Owens did when Terrell Owens came to Philly. If you remember back then, Terrell Owens was with the San Francisco 49ers. He was scheduled to be a free agent, okay? He had avoided the last year of his contract. He would have become a free agent. His agent missed the deadline for basically voiding that contract, and he remained uh, under the control of the San Francisco 49ers. So the 49ers go ahead, and they trade him for a second-round pick to the Baltimore Ravens, okay? Well, when they do that, Terrell Owens is pissed. He had filed a grievance saying he should be a free agent because it was his agent's mistake not filing um, in time, you know, that they were going to avoid the remaining year of the contract. So Terrell Owens was pissed. He's like, I'm not going to Baltimore. The Baltimore Ravens are supposed to host a press conference. He doesn't show up. He doesn't show up for a physical. He's not coming. He just stood his ground. It was like, I'm going to Eagles. I want to be an Eagle. Uh, I, you know, I, that's where I want to go. That's where my heart is. I want to go to Philly. And he, he stuck his ground. And he stuck it so much and so well that they eventually had to do a three-way trade where the Eagles got Terrell Owens, Baltimore got compensation, and so did the San Francisco 49ers. Owens comes to Philly, signs a seven-year deal. Of course, you know, first year's great, doesn't work out in the long run. However, him standing his ground, him saying, I want to play there and this is it, uh, it worked in the end. And if Yannick Ngagwe can follow that and say, I'm going to Philly. I want to go to Philly. I'm a free agent now. I don't care what, what Jacksonville says. I'm I'm willing to, to, to do what's right. I'm willing to hold out. Uh, you know why? Who knows what could happen? It could possibly happen. Now, how are you going to pay him? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it is interesting, though, that Jadavian Clowney, another defensive end free agent, right? He... He is coming down his contract. They, they, they were talking $23, $24 million, what he was asking for. Now I'm hearing that Clowney's only asking for $17, $18 million. So once he gets, once he gets signed, we're going to have an idea what, what Yannick Ngagwe is going to be able to get. And I don't know how the Eagles can afford him, to be honest with you, okay? That's the first thing. That's a big problem. They're going to have to figure it out. But 
if if he wants to come bad enough, he should follow the Terrell Owens, uh, you know, the Terrell Owens step by step guide of coming to Philly because Terrell Owens played it perfectly, and, and the fans loved him because he wanted to be in Philly, and they they flipped out about Terrell Owens. It was great, and if Yannick can play that play that game, stay on that course, you know what I mean, and and say I, I'm going to Philly, and that's it. Uh, you never know what could happen. The Eagles, they got to really move some money around because I don't know how they would afford it. However, if you add Yannick Nagagwe to that defensive line, that would be unbelievable. That would be an unbelievable defense. And, you know, when you get a chance to do something like that, sometimes you just got to take the chance. However, I'm not giving up a 2020 first round pick. It's not happening. It's not happening. You know, I think the Eagles have to give... Maybe a pick, but they're gonna have to give a player that has some, you know, that has some cap, some cap money against him. So basically, you can free up some cash. I don't know how they're gonna do it money wise, but if Yannick Ngagwe really wants to come that bad, you know what? Stick your ground and do exactly what Terrell Owens did. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with Yannick Ngagwe. I mean, personally, I think it's gonna be really hard for the Eagles to get him. I don't know how they're going to afford him, but hey, look, Howie Roseman, you never know, and we'll talk about this tomorrow in my live stream that I'm going to be doing, and be sure if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, click that little dingbat bell, uh, because you're gonna to wanna to be notified when we go live. It's gonna be fun, and you're not going to want to miss it because we're going to figure this out. We're going to talk about Yannick. We're going to talk about a bunch of other stuff, and you want to be sure to join me. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Now, one of the things I've been trying to do lately is kind of take advantage of some of the YouTube special features, right? I've been doing more live streams. I've also been posting polls in the post section, right? And I've been really shocked how many responses I'm getting from these polls. I mean, well over a 1,000 a thousand votes per poll, you know, so far. And I like it because it can, it kind of gives me an idea of what you guys are thinking. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, I wonder if people think this, I wonder if people think that, and I can put a poll up and you guys, and you guys answer me and, and, and I like it a lot. So thank you for answering it. But you know, one of the polls that I had the other day was I asked the question, what was your favorite off season move the Eagles made? The majority of the people said the trade for Darius Slay was their favorite move. And I love the trade for Darius Slay. I think it was a great move, and I was very excited about it. However, if I was to vote in a poll, and I don't vote my own polls, but if I was to vote in that poll, I would have said the Javon Hargrave signing, to me, was the best move of the offseason for the Eagles. I believe that that Hargrave signing was not only the best move for the Eagles, I think it was the biggest sleeper move out of the whole offseason by any team, even over the DeAndre Hopkins trade. I believe the Hargrave signing is is going to be very impactful for the Eagles years to come. I think it's I think it's equivalent to when the Eagles signed Brandon Brooks. Most people thought, oh, Brandon Brooks, that's a good signing, you know, but nobody thought he was going to become the best guard in football. He has. I think Hargrave, being 26 years old, coming to play with Fletcher Cox, is going to be the biggest sleeper move of the NFL when we look back two, three years from now at this free agency class. Hargrave was a huge sign. I mean, they call the guy Grave Digger. They call him the Grave Digger. You got to be something when you're called the Grave Digger and you play defensive tackle and you go and you see Dak Prescott and you go, Dang! you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Hargrave signing is so underrated, so underrated. And I think it's going to make that defensive line really, really good this year. I mean, who are you going to, who are you going to double team? Fletcher Cox or Hargrave? One of those guys is getting free. Those ends now are going to have to only beat one guy. I think a guy like Derek Barnett could have a breakout year, and much of it could be because of Hargrave. I think that's the most underrated signing um, for the Eagles, for the NFL, and I, that's the one I'm most excited about. And, you know, hopefully there'll be some more stuff to talk about. It's been a little quiet last few days. I expect the Eagles to be big players in the draft, go up, get the top three wide receiver, all those kind of things. And obviously that that's the move I'm waiting for. My whole offseason is really predicated on are we going to go up to the top three and you know go up and get a top three wide receiver. And that's what I'm I'm hoping and counting on. But however, in free agency, Hargrave is to me the most underrated signing. And I think people don't even understand how big of a signing that was for the Eagles and what a smart move it was. Um you know, I just do. It was awesome. So let me know. This is what I want to know. Do you guys think that was a sleeper 
signing? Do you think that's a big move? Do you think that that Hargrave signing in years to come will come back and 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 be considered maybe the best move of free agency? Because I sure do. I definitely sure do. And do you think Yannick Nagagwe is just playing us Philly fans? Is he just just trolling us? Is he just trying to get under our skin? Is he just trying to flame the fires or what? Or does he really want to come to Philly and be an eagle? Does he really want to be an eagle? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.